So my what I see is only in football. Today, I mean, the amount of um, recognition that I get, bila berkenaan dengan bola sepak, is very overwhelming. Eh? Pasal, I mean, here I am, a Malaysian, a Southeast Asian, a very young man, invited to a world football summit where all the world football great uh, people have their talk, interview, sharing their views about the game, how to progress as a sport and also the idea of progressing as a sport and innovation, how to be innovative when it comes to football and things like that and to me it's, it's excellent. So then, then that is when I realized that oh, tough time ahead because we are still very very behind. I would like to have the the problem is is up to their own setup. I would like to share my ideas with all the other affiliates and the other clubs. Whether they want to take it, I don't know. But at least I would like to be closer to all my other competitors, which means in the field we compete like hell. But then outside the field, we should be helping each other because I see there's a lot of um, lack of knowledge when it comes to managing a football team. You know, they, they, they see it as just 11 men buying four foreigner and competing every year instead of seeing it as a business, how can, you, how can you generate income for your club, things like that. No one do that research, only us. So, that, that is the main problem that no one speak about in Malaysia. I'm not interested, because then conflict of interest. Tapi masih ramai yang community boleh sepak. Ya, tahu. But then, if I, saya ambil Ali, okay? There's no difference between me and the old president before. Conflict of interest. I have a team. I'm JDT own. Uh, I own JDT. If I go to FAM, if they show JDT win the league, what will people say? <laughs> if referee give penalty to JDT, what will people say? So, saya tak nak, that's why saya tak nak ambil FAM. Because there's a lot more to me I don't want to take over FAM, but I want to be there as a voice that can share my pendapat, um, probably suggest FAM untuk keluarkan a new punya undang-undang rules in terms of competition untuk tahun depan kepada pasukan-pasukan semua mesti ada program akan umbi. You know, you cannot throw all your money just to buy four foreign player. Keutamaan adalah pemain-pemain tempatan. Tak kisah daripada segi dia orang punya performance dan dia orang punya kebajikan. Dia orang adalah kita punya keutamaan. Pemain tempatan macam di Johor. When Jorge Pereira dia score 31 goal, semua orang happy. Saya seorang je tak happy. Then I call the coach, I call the whole team. I said, we have a problem. I said, why? I said, yeah, this guy scored 31 goal. What about the rest of you? The local players are 80% of the team. Saya nak nampak peningkatan. Saya nak tengok peningkatan. So, meningkatkan prestasi pemain tempatan adalah keutamaan. Dan kebajikan mereka juga should be keutamaan. Bukan keutamaan nak lepaskan semua orang orang luar daripada negara kita. Tetapi, you are neglecting, awak ketepikan anak-anak tempatan kita. So, tell me how you helping football. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the only guy who helping football. Tapi, yelah, lone ranger lah. Who would uh, Johor nominate from the current crop of individuals? Pandangan saya Tan Sri Yasin. Asy Cik Mak Cik. Yes. Why? He's experienced. He's very neutral. He's very straightforward. He was also in the FAM Menyadi Supreme Menyadi Committee. Give it to him. Take give the have the right exco have the right people i'm not being rude i'm not trying to challenge anybody i'm just giving my betul betul honest opinion the problem with me is saya ni tak reti diplomatic saya ni very direct but direct for a good cause it's not to put orang down is only memberi cadangan dan pandangan yang ikhlas what can we do to improve because all i want is just to work together this is not a one man show we all have to work together lah, bersama-sama lah. 
Tapi it's very frustrate, uh, frustrating kalau, jika kalau macam dah nampak apa masalah tersebut dan kita tak ada tak ada buat apa-apa benda yang betul berkenaan on how to fix it. I have a formula. If they follow formula, you will see changes. Yang pertama, let's solve on hak penyadaran kepada pasukan-pasukan lain. I want that money back. I want to see Penang get their money. I want to see Terengganu get their money. I want to see Titim get their money. I want to see all, everybody get money. Selepas tu, semua orang mesti ada program akan umbi. Sendiri. Second. The third one should be tak ada pasukan-pasukan lain mana boleh lambat bayar gaji lagi. Bayar gaji selepas berapa bulan je tak boleh bayar gaji Mesti terima hukuman yang patut There's no special treatment And last but not least I don't want the referee to be under FAM Referee should have an independent body If we do that, we'll be okay Itu je saya minta Bukan saya minta gunung pun Tak ada minta duit pun Just itu je kita minta And I want every meeting FAM buat Mesti di setiap negeri No longer in Wisma FAM saja. You have to go to Perak You have to go to Kedah You have to go to Sarawak You have to go to Sabah Mesti setiap-setiap negeri Kita mesti sentiasa berjumpa Because kita should have one objective Meningkatkan mutu Which means have a good structure of competition Satu okay. Yang kedua Help pasukan kebangsaan Dengan benda sikit-sikit kita buat ni lah Yang akan membantu pasukan kebangsaan How long do you foresee Before you, you think the national team If all this is implemented Before you think we can see results You can see results You can see improvement Tetapi kejayaan tu makan masa lah But I want to see improvement I don't care about the result In the nak tengok improvement dalam structure Nak tengok improvement dalam uh, Dia orang punya Persembahan Performance Improvement is the only thing I want That's the only thing I ask for Improvement I don't ask for anything else You Have to hire A good Sports director For FAM This guy's job He's professional He's a foreigner He got no um, interest Dia tak ada mana-mana berat sebelah kepada mana pasukan Very neutral And he's going to tell you what to do But you have to listen to him The problem is you have Schmitz before Already come up with all the blueprint Of what needed to be done And then President pun tak interested Secretary General tak interested No one was interested So he become a doormat in FAM You have to listen to their advice That's how you raise the standard Itu aja. So To me Key changes is having the right people in the organisation Will will change The face of Malaysian football But as long as you do not have the right people Then forever This is going to continue So now next season JDT is going for Champions League qualification again Yes Balik semula But next season we're going to give a lot of tumpuan in terms of business and making um, keuntungan for the club, income for financial stability, not overspending and spend on our youth development. Itu saja. So no big big signing, no going for ni. I've done enough success. Right now is to pull the brake and build up balik semula kita punya financial punya foundation and also grassroots foundation gitu. That is our target next year. No, development is our first priority for next year. When we started the project since 2013, I was given two choices by Peter Canyon and Peter Lim. And also George Mendes was there, Cristiano Ronaldo's agent. And Mr. Miguel, which is the owner of the Atletico Madrid. That was my first meeting. I said, you have a choice whether you want your voice to be heard You have to make a lot of noise so people know you are serious, which is called a quick success, buying the best players. Then the other one is 
you put everything in your youth development, you will get result, but that will come after five to ten years time. So I said, okay, for the world to know how serious we are, we need a, a, a quick success, a short period of success. Then kita cakap, okay, we do that first. Now we have done it. We have won seven titles for the last three and a half years. Now I say, hey, kalau we're going to spend and spend and spend and spend challenging for title, one day we're going to go broke. So I told my guys, I said, next year you pull the brake. Concentrate more on your youth development project. And at the same time, let's try to do business and make money for the club. And then let's see whether 2018 or 2019 we can spend again and start challenging for title again. But to challenge for a title every single year is not relevant. To me, tak masuk akal. Because football, have to do, you have to run it like a company. It's a business. Jadi, uh, that's why, um, that is what I see. So next year, I said to JDT, your priority should be focusing on youth development project. And after that, that's it. Let's see what, where we go from there. And we're going to let go of some key players as well. The one that have high salary. So we have to really uh, juggle the budget of the club. Small. Small rombakan. But more on to protect the interests of the club. Kewangan club. Untuk kestabilan kewangan club. That is saya punya keutamaan untuk tahun depan. So kalau tahun depan tak menang apa-apa, I don't care. So are you looking at building from Johor, your grassroots? Or will you be... No. The 70% of Johor and another 30 is from everywhere around Malaysia. Because I feel that it is not fair if I just put my focus here. I should put my main priority to the Johorians. But at the same time, if I can produce talent from outside of Johor that will end up playing in another team or whatever, because at the end of the day, all these people are going to end up playing for my national team. So the, the priority is now not only to raise the standard of the Malaysian football, but I want to help my national team. I want to see results in the next how many years and that result is not going to come easy it's going to be very challenging because you cannot have instant success we need plenty of time but we need to have as much of foreign expertise as well kita tak boleh jadi macam bodoh sombong you know have to learn have to get the foreign expertise then we we learn from them and then obviously inshallah one day we we can see the the result in the future kalau tidak we're not going to get anywhere it's going to get worse and worse and worse Lagi satu problem also here is favoritism. favoritism. Fav the okay, if anyone wants to repeat after me, I said what kill Malaysian football? Corruption, favoritism, in denial. Bermakna korupsi, pilih kasih, tak boleh terima kenyataan. That's the three things that kill Malaysian football. That must be lucky. I give you an example. Fazli Sas, my player in JDT, tak dapat main first team because of not performing well in training, not even on the bench, and then you get a national call up for Suzuki Cup by Ong Kim Swee. The guy don't play one game. Why? Awak patut nilai pemain daripada dia punya performance, prestasi. Bukan nilai pemain oleh kerana awak sayang pemain tu ke, awak suka dia ke, dia pernah kerja dengan awak dulu ke. Tidak. It's prestasi. So you cannot judge someone just because you favor him. There's a lot of other defenders in the country. But you, why you only take from Selangor, from JDT, from Perak, from Kedah? It's the obvious. You have a lot of Felda players who did well. Some T-team players who did well. Spread out. Balik-balik yang sama. Do you have a favorite EPL team? Long time ago, since I was a kid, it was Manchester United. <laughs> ah, but now, after what happened, I don't like to look at. I don't even watch one game of Manchester United oh. anymore. <laughs> I cannot because it's not the Manchester United I used to know. So how how long ago was this this falling out of love with Manchester United? I think after I understand football more. <laughs> the more I understand football, the more I 
lost the love for Manchester United.